you gotta be tough and you gotta be fast. That's what it takes to be a Fort St. John Killbilly. I love going fast. I love the hitting. Um, I'm definitely a jammer. Don't put me in the walls. <laughs> not my not my scene. I, I love the skating. I love deking them out, going fast. That's my game. That's what I love. The Killbillies kicked off their season last month, a tournament in Prince George. There they picked up their first win of the season against the very team they played over the weekend, the Quinell Gold Pain. This time we knew what we were up against and so we were a little stronger in our walls. Um, we weren't as much before so this time we knew what we were up against. We came with a little more confidence. That confidence was certainly brought through the game. A few solid jams gave the ladies in pink a 186-60 lead at the half. Much has to do with the success of three new ladies joining the team. We've got tons more girls joining all the time and more people getting interested. It's definitely the ball is rolling. And they're also pushing some of the girls that have season after season are on the roster are playing and they're starting to see these new girls show up and do really well and they're kind of like yeah I gotta pick my game up maybe to make sure I'm still playing so it's it's really good for our team. A more conservative second half wrapped this one up 267-117 for the Billies a near perfect home opener and their second win of the early season. The first half, we did really good shutdown derby. They had some amazing jams in the second half. They really started to pressure us, which is why we can't take your foot off the gas, right? You really can run that risk of all of a sudden giving up. We've been trying a lot more aggressive, offensive moves, breaking up the other pack, letting our jammer come through a lot more quickly, and that worked really well for us. Next up for the ladies in pink, they welcome the St. Albert Heavenly Roller Beezlebubs to the arena on May 30th. Mitch Bach, CJDC-TV Sports, Fort St. John.